Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how you access and replace the 12 volt auxiliary battery in a Centro Metro um, electric van, also called a Saturn City van. So in this case, I'm on site and I'm actually going to uh, replace the 12 volt battery, put a new one in because uh, it's gone completely flat and it's gone flat a few times and I think the battery has deteriorated now. And I think that is because the users haven't been shutting the door properly and leaving the van uh, switched on live effectively. If you don't shut the doors properly, then the dash stays lit and obviously the 12 volt will drain. So the battery actually sits behind this uh, side panel on the near side and you have to take this whole side panel off. The tools you need for the job is a four mil Allen key. In this case, I've got one on a, a socket wheel. You need a 10 mil ratchet or a uh, 10 mil uh, spanner. And you also need an eight mil spanner or a pair of pliers will do the same job. So to start with, we've got to take off the um, bolts there, there, there and there, two at the back and there's two underneath on either side of the rear wheel. It's best to undo those first and then undo the three lower ones, undo the top end one and the top end one at that end and leave this one last because this one will support the weight and it's in the middle so it'll support the weight of the whole panel. So that's them all out. When Lifting this panel off, there is a, a tag at the top left corner um, which hooks into the bodywork, but the rest of it will just be ready to fall off. Yeah, you can see that tag just there, but that's the only one. And then just put this somewhere safe. And then you can see the 12 volt battery here in front of the rear wheel. You're going to first want to disconnect the negative terminal with a 10 mil ratchet well, or a 10 mil spanner on there and then undo the positive terminal. This plastic cap is held on with a little tag just here and then you can flick that one up to get access to that. So with the wiring removed you then need to take this support bracket off. Again 10 mil nut on there and one on there and get rid of that bar. So you don't have to remove the nut at the back, you can just slacken it off a bit, just enough to lift the bar over the positive terminal and just get that out of the way. We then got to remove this supporting bar. It's got a welded captive nut at the bottom, but this is where you use your eight mil spanner and it's got some flat sides in the middle so you can then grip it and undo this. And then undo that bar completely which then allows you to lift the battery out. The batteries on these is a 6QW36R, 12 volt obviously, 36 amp hour, 335 amp. This battery code isn't a code we recognise in the UK and um, when looking for a replacement battery it's uh, quite difficult to find the right size because the tray on this is flush with the battery so it's got to have the exactly the same footprint to sit in that tray. So the battery I'm fitting here is a Varta A15 40 amp hour 330 amps. It's the same size, it's got the same Japanese style terminals, the smaller terminal and the positive on, is on this side which is opposite to normal hence why it's an R model. R means it's got the reverse terminals and uh, as you can see, that fits in that tray nicely. So I'm going to remove the bungs on the side and then basically do the reverse to put it all back together. 